Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to set up OpenGL with GLEW and GLFW in Visual Studio on a Windows machine. So GLEW is the OpenGL extension wrangler because OpenGL on its own only allows you to use old features. I believe it's up to version 1.1 but to use anything new you need something like extension wrangler and GLFW is OpenGL framework which provides you with a render window to actually draw the objects that you want to use in OpenGL and it also provides other useful features like input. First of all in this video just make sure you've got a few things downloaded so just open up your browser just google GLEW not GLFEW that'd be cool if they just had a library that did both of it and just go to the SourceForge website and then when you're on here you simply want to just click the 32-bit binary download and this will obviously start downloading shortly I've already got it downloaded so I'm going to skip that the next thing that you want is GLFW so if you go to the glfw.org website from here don't click the download button here because this hasn't been built yet you still need to build it with something like CMake but if you go to the download section see the source package is what was on the home page you want the pre-compiled libraries binaries I should say for Windows so just click the 32-bit Windows binaries even if you're on a 64-bit machine I don't need these because I've already got them downloaded and the final thing you want is Visual Studio I'm using Visual Studio Community 2015 you can use older versions as well or you could use a, like a non-community version but the community version the free community version is fantastic so it's this one right here once you go through the process of installing Visual Studio make sure you select the C++ desktop features because you will obviously need those so once you're done with that you're all ready to actually start extracting it so I've got the files right here once you've extracted the GLEW and the GLFW folder recommend that you put it somewhere I want to say the word safe but somewhere that you're not going to have to touch it simply because or movie I should say simply because our project and other projects that you create for OpenGL will be referring to these folders so I've put them in a folder called OpenGL on my C drive right here and when you extract them it actually has a longer name than this it has GLEW dash the version number and the same for GLFW I've just shortened it because it'll be easier to refer to from our project and then in here there are a bunch of folders which we will be using shortly next make sure you've obviously got Visual Studio installed and once you've done all that just open up Visual Studio okay and now click new project hopefully this will load there we go then you want to go to Visual C++ go to Win32 console application just name this web you want I'm just gonna name it open GL tutorial and I'm going to put it yeah I'm gonna leave it there where it is by default so click OK another window will pop up just to set up the project click next click console application which is selected by default click empty projects we'll be creating our own CPP file and adding all the code that we need you can uncheck this unless you want it I don't need it so click finish okay so we've got our project right here the first thing we're gonna do is just right click add new item make sure you got visual C++ selected a C++ 
file which has the .cpp extension name this whatever you want but I'm going to call it main because it's the main entry point for our application click add add it right here before we start adding some OpenGL code we need to set up our project so it links to those folders that we download I mean those files that we downloaded and we uncompressed and there we have folders so right click your project go to properties for the configuration make so make sure you select all configurations for platform select active win32 platform now go to C C++ and then go to general additional include directories so just click the drop down click edit click new click the three dots because you can type it out manually but I find it's easier if you just click the three dots you can just browse to wherever your folders are located so the first one I'm going to add is GLEW and for this just select the include directory select and now click the button again three dots go to wherever your GLFW folder is most likely it's going to be the same place click include click select folder click OK click apply you can apply it right at the end but I'm just going to apply it as we go along and now you just want to go to linker from here you want to go to general additional library directories right here click drop down click the edit button new three dots and for this what we need to do is navigate to our GLEW folder again go to lib go to release win32 click select folder new again browse to wherever your GLFW folder is located go to ooh, did I just move something yeah I did probably best if I go and fix that so I thought I moved it appeared like I moved it it's weird <laughs> I'm positive that I moved a folder. Here we go. So let's just move this back. Everything's all sorted. And depending on what Visual Studio you have installed, you'll select that version. For me, I've got Visual Studio 2015, so I just double click that, click select folder, click OK, click apply. Now go to linker, input, additional dependencies. There are already some depend inherited values, don't need to worry about any of that. What you need to do is add opengl32.lib. You need to open glew32.lib, glfw3.lib. Something I just want to point out if we just go to the folder that our glew and glfw folders are located. Because we're getting these files from here. This is the one we want. If, let's say, you run it at the end of the tutorial and it gives you some error like you can't find a .lib file, go to the additional dependencies. Make sure you've, I mean, actually go to the directory. Make sure you've included the right directory. And if you have, go to your explorer and make sure it's named what minor name because maybe you download a newer version and it's called something different so that's just something to bear in mind and the principle is the same for GOFW most likely you won't face that issue but I faced that issue in the past so I thought it was worth mentioning and that's it really so there's only actually one last thing we need to do you just need to copy the GL EW.DOL. So if you go to open GL, GL, EW, go to lib, release, win32. Is it the GL EW? One second. I think I may have made a little mistake. Here we go. That's the one we wanted. The glue fe 2 dot. D L L G L E W. Copy that. Go to G 
go to wherever your project is located and mine is Visual Studio 2015 projects tutorial and now just paste it with your main file so right click paste now that's a okay we're actually ready to start adding some code to our file so let's do hash oops it's easy hash include gl forward slash gl ew as you can see successfully set it up and intellisense is working which is fantastic include gl fw one thing to note just make sure you have the gl ew included before the gl fw that's generally the order that you want to include them gofw 3h and now just create a int main void and in here I'm gonna create an instance of glf window glfw window I'm gonna call it window and this is going to be what we're going to draw opengl to next we're going to initialize glfw and to do that just do if not glfw in it and in here you just want to return minus one and this just basically checks if it doesn't successfully initialize return minus one and you'll go out of this method hence cancelling our application if not you'll continue and next we want to create a windowed mode and it's OpenGL context for this just a window equals GL FW create window and for this I'm going to put a size of 640 by 480 I'm going to put the title as OpenGL project tutorial now for the monitor and share because this is just a basic video to get set up just put no and no next we want to check if our window has been created successfully if not we're going to do something similar to if it glfw hasn't been initialized we're going to do glfw terminate then return minus one you might be wondering why have we terminated glfw here and not here and that's the re the reason is because here it hasn't initialized so there's no reason to terminate it but you can only get past or can only hit any of this code if it's been initialized therefore we need to terminate it as well now what we want to do is make the windows context current and for this just need to sort out the grammar and now we're going to just loop until the user closes the window so while and in here we're going to put not glfw window should close and this takes a parameter and it's the window that we created up here and inside here first of all just do gl clear gl underscore color underscore buffer bit so this just clears our screen at the start of each loop iteration so we can just redraw the content now you would render the OpenGL not going to do any rendering in this video because this is just a setup video and we have separate videos covering all the different features of OpenGL so check them out 
Now we're going to swap front and back buffers. We are almost done now. To do this, GLFW swap buffers. Let's pass it the window. I'm going to do GLFW poll events. Poll for and process any events. And then finally, outside of the while loop, because this would hit the end of the application, you would need to just do GLFW terminate as we did right up here. Obviously, the condition is a little different. It just means that the user has closed the window and now GLFW needs to terminate. So if we click run, hopefully we get no errors and we have a blank render window that should pop up. So that's the command prompt and there we go we have our empty OpenGL project set up with GLEW and GLFW in Visual Studio. If you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php. There will be a link in the description. There will be also links in the description to the GLEW download page the GLFW download page and the Visual Studio download page because they are obviously very important. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.